Hi everybody, it's Paula here. Today we're going to talk about scraffitoing on greenware. I have a 6 inch tile here that I've base coated with uh, 607 Color Stroke by Colors for Earth. And then I also have a wire loop tool. It's a wire scraffito tool. You can see it's a very, very fine tool. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, and then I've just got a duster brush to dust off any of my dust when I start carving. I like to start in the middle of the design and carve out there first and then work myself out from there. Okay, I'm going to put down the camera and focus and show you some more carving. Okay, so I've already got the dragonfly done and I want to start on the line from the dragonfly and come out. I'm going to keep this on the flat side. So I'm going to gently carve to get that line started and then follow through all the way out, in this case to the edge of my tile. I'm going to go over this three, maybe four times to create a channel. It depends on how deep you want it, if you want something just light or heavy, and then dust away any of the dust. You can also um, shake it off also. Here again, start at your carved line and come out. Every time you come across the wear, apply slightly a little bit more pressure. That will create more depth or a deeper cut in your piece. Okay. So then we're going to come back up here and come all the way down. Now before I intersect with this line, because I started up here where it, it had already had a carved line and came down. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to carve towards that line. Okay, so now I can make one continuous line because otherwise it could chip. Then just shake off the excess. If you need to, use your dusting brush. It just needs to be a nice soft brush that's dry. It's not damp. Now I've got quite a few lines that intersect here. I'm going to do this long one first and then I'll be able to pull this one from there and this one from here and then I'll have to go from two different uh, sides on that one. So sometimes you have to plan where you're going three times gently, a little bit more pressure each time and dust off your excess. Okay, So now I can come in and do the longer line And this works with any type of design. Um, if you're doing something very intricate, this is a great tool to use because you can get such a fine line as opposed to a, a traditional scraffito tool, which has the duster and a shovel type into it. This is my favorite. I've been using this for uh, 15 years or so. Um, they do break easy if you apply too much pressure or if you're doing glaze carving where you're on top of bisque where it's um, harder, but they do work for the glaze carving. We've done that before in some of my retreats. Okay, so just make sure you try to do the same depth on all of them so it's consistent. Okay, so now I have one line left here, and I've got, it intersects two other lines, so I need to come from both ways to help eliminate with the chipping. So pull down a distance, Get rid of that dust so you can see what you're doing. You can turn the tile completely around and pull the strokes towards you. Um, I'm just leaving it in one direction because of the camera. Okay, and then go across that three good times. Shake off your excess. And then dust. Okay, and you would just continue and do all your lines and then you'll be ready to paint or you may uh, choose to fire and then paint. Um, I'm going to paint on top of this, and that'll be another uh, video. And then, I'll, of course, I'll show you what this looks like when it's finished. And I will even put this pattern out there so that you can try this yourself. Okay? All right, until next time.